Yo, what is going on YouTube? I'm completely blinded by the main menu of F1 2021. <laughs> Welcome everyone to another video on my channel and today I have for you another track guide. We're going for the Dutch circuit, Sanford, Max's home circuit. So we have to be quick and it's a world record track guide. I will show you the setup, I will show you how to drive and I will explain to you what I'm doing during a lap in Sanford. We are gonna have a look, you can see it. Top four is cheater times. I don't think Haas will be ahead of me. A seven lap time is also realistic. And a 104, I guess he has a better setup. But so first of all, getting into the setup that I have been using for this world record. And as usual, I will show you the setup. I will show you the track guide. And then we are getting into the full send mode where we get the world record at Sanford. So the wings that we are running today is 1110, 157 on the differential, right, left, 007 and left again for the camber settings and toe, uh, so the suspension geometry. And the suspension is looking like this, 27, at, like two at the front, seven at the rear, three at the front, ARB, five at the rear and a 2.6 right height. Brakes, 150, Tires 21.8 on the front and 23.5 on the rears. So if you want to take the setup and use it for a league race, if you're struggling on the rear, maybe go 11-11. Honestly, you might need it because this track is quite tricky. The rear always kicks out. The tire attempts are super aggressive, especially after the middle sector section where you have a lot of high load and Fast right handers usually uh, the, the left side of the tires overheat quite drastically at 105 degrees or more if you mess up. So lockups are also costly on this track. Be careful. Um, the off diff, you might want to lower it if you don't feel like you get enough rotation when you're braking or when you're just lifting, like for example, the fast right hander in the middle sector. Um, you can leave the camber settings and toe settings like that. Suspension, you can still go lower if you feel like you need a little bit more traction, the car is a bit more on edge. Then you can also, again, if you lower this here, you can again try around, maybe reduce the rear wing arrows because then you gain a little bit of straight line speed. But I can recommend you don't go too low on this track in terms of wings. You will need the wings to follow other cars. If you are lacking the wings and aerodynamics, you will suffer, not just in tire wear and tire attempts, but you will just not pass because you won't be close enough. Rather be close enough and have a little bit less straight line speed on this track than doing it the opposite way. With the ARB, you can maybe increase that if you like to have a little bit more rotation. Um, and the right height, you can also put it to 7 at the rear. I think 2 at the front is quite good. Um, and with the pressures, just find out what you need so that you have exactly the same tire wear, front and rear, more or less. So if you need to increase it, that will reduce tire wear. If you lower it, that will increase tire wear. This is how it works. And now let's get into the track guide. All right, so um, I hope this is not gonna lag because I have three monitors currently running, but I think we should be all right. Let's have a look. So first of all, as always, on this track, it doesn't matter too much, but the exit. Still take a wider line in fifth gear usually. Use all the track and now kind of hold it in the middle. The least steering angle, activate the DRS. And now we are going on our lap. So you want to break just more or less at the shadow and 50 meter board down into fourth gear. And you want to get low, but don't touch the curb. You will lose it. You can short shift into fifth, which I'm doing. So you can get early on the power. Be careful. You could see it on the exit curb here. Here also, you can overdo it quite a bit. If you hook it up too much on the left, you will just floor it and you will go straight. But you need to use that curb to then hook up an early turn in where you get also close for this curb. Usually you don't want to hit any curves aside from the exit curbs on some because they are also high and you will just spin out. Then here you're braking down to third gear, charge shift into fourth, stay also as tight as you can. If you get that exit curb, it might hurt you. On this one you can touch it a bit, but be careful you might spin, cut a bit here. Now after the Pirelli board, we're turning in, lifting and braking a tiny bit, use the exit curb. Get close to the grass, don't touch the curb here. Then on this one you also have to be careful. Um, just to visualize it to you, 
So first of all, on our hot lap, we're actually gonna touch that inside curb, but you want to just be as close as you can and then accelerate and let the steering angle and the speed with the throttle push you outside to the track. But if you go too far, you can see the curb split up in two sec uh, sequences. The left one is the outer one, the middle one, uh, the, the right one is the inner one. You can stay on the inner one without any issues, but if you hook up the car a bit too far to the left on the outer one, you will understeer off the track and you will usually get an off track or like just be completely on the grass. So keep it on this one and brake just s softly on this. You need to be careful or already go back onto the track and then brake, tray brake until you hit this corner here. Then accelerate, use all the track, don't hit the outside curb. Then here again, wide line, inside, short shift into fifth. I actually think on my hot lap I use third gear always and then down uh, up into fifth. I wouldn't do that anymore. I think I prefer fourth gear still. I just tried it out and it worked on the lap, but in usual, I, you know me, I like higher gears. Um, so now, for the next corner, you're braking just when the curb start. Down to fourth gear, hit that curb a tiny bit, but not too much. Stay close to the inside and rotate the car on the throttle. You're doing the same thing in turn four, the weird cambered one, but you have to rotate the car a bit on the throttle. Get the rear kicking around. And then, just before this curb st starts, you brake. In fifth gear and also early on the power let the car really push out on the exit curve now stay tight to the inside activate the DRS and run down to the line and this is how you attack the track in the Netherlands Sanford a beautiful racetrack bit unfortunate that it's not that great on the game and not as accurate but it's still a fun track if you hook it up so get on time trial get practicing and now I will let you have a look at our world record lap time In case you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Peace.